Money, money. I like that. Money. I like money, that. Money, power, respect. I like that. Yeah. If you could switch closets with someone, who would it be? You. It was so nice meeting you. Yeah, but recently, I had this guy come in front of my house and try to kill himself. Oh, my God. That is not what I thought you, know, you were going to say. The dude, he came back like, like, he came, tried to kill, he said, I have to sign him. Or he has to just walk. He just has to be with me. He came back, tried to kill himself. We took him to the hospital. He escaped from the hospital, came back again. And this, 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 this is the crazy, craziest story. I've seen this thing twice. Tell me why I'm performing. A fat holds my leg. I'm like, I think it's a regular. Fight. I look down. Same dude. <laughs> I'm dead. Bruh, I'm crazy. so dead. So he was like stalking you. I don't even know what he was, but. So that, did he still follow you around? I don't know what. I don't know. <laughs> you need a restraining order on this guy, is we, what you we, need. We don't have that in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> like till date, he's so like still so humble and modest with the way he spends, the way he goes about his business, the way he handles his business. It's still amazing to me. Um, I remember growing up, like from like my younger days till I was like 11, I wasn't really close with my dad because he was all about work, 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 work. I remember him coming home late every day, you know, building something. I didn't know what, what he was doing. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know he was rich. Really. <laughs> I didn't even know Surprise. He, I didn't know he was rich till like, till probably I was like 13. Wow. Because he lived so normal. Like, I didn't even know he was a billionaire driving a Honda. I remember he had a silver, brand new, but he had a silver Honda Accord. He had a driver. My mom had like a, I think like a Toyota or so, or a Honda truck or something. So like I didn't know they lived so modest mm -hmm. until we moved out the house to the new house. So we get to the new house, <laughs> I'll never forget. So we get to the new house, and I'm like, oh, we live. <laughs> <laughs> what song and album I'm listening to right now? I like two albums, basically Meeks and Offset's new album. Meeks music just makes you feel good. It makes you want to hustle. <laughs> I like to have fun, so like, that's what that does for me. And Offset's really like, I understand what he, like, he be going through with like, having multiple kids and you know, be having a girl. And you know, if you listen to the album, he talks a lot about that. I like EDM too, I like a uh, lot about that. I like EDM too, I like uh, Martin Garrix, I listen to him. I listen to Marshmallow. It gives you energy, I like, I'm a very energetic person, so I need that kind of music to be on the go. I like house music. I like a lot of South African house music, like black coffee, that type of vibe. Music is one of the like things that makes Africa great. For someone who has never listened to Afrobeat, I'll probably